sometimes we got to know when to let one season go and enter into the next season because uh, we may need something in that next season that the old season couldn't provide, right? And, and that's what you said. You know, basketball was starting to lead to frustration for you. Hello there, and welcome to Fridays with Tab and Chance. I am Tabitha Brown, and this is my husband. I'm Chance, what's up? Bring the beat in. Friday. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta move my phone. I don't like the way that sound. Okay. You want to use this as a drum because today's no, episode is no. sponsored by mm -hmm. Donna's Recipe. Okay, you ready? Do you want me to say why or not yet? You want to say why? Yeah, why today's episode is sponsored by Donna's Recipe. Oh, go ahead. You can. Because if you look close, uh, I just washed Donna and conditioned her. I got my cream. It's still in my hair. It's air drying and that's her business. So today's episode is sponsored by Donna's Recipe. Bring the beat in. Gotta be in the shot, right? Gotta be in the shot. Gotta be in the shot. I could just hold it while. No. Gotta be. I'm trying to find make sure I can but get it in the shot. But it might. I won't. It, I won't. Just leave it right there. Here we go. Say it again. Bring the beat in. Fridays, Fridays, Fridays with having chance. But on, on, on. Fridays, Fridays, Fridays with Evan It gives drum. No, no, it's messing up the whole thing. I can't even got folk. Right there, there you go, right there. Just product it placement. It don't have to stay right there, babe. No, we're gonna leave it right there. We're gonna leave it right there. Leave it right there. It's not there. even in focus right there. Tip for fix it. There you go, right there. It Right there. All right, man. How y'all doing? What we doing today? Well, today's episode, we are talking about when it's time for a new season. Uh, case in point, we're going to give an example, right? In your personal life, maybe there's something you used to love to do. You enjoyed it. But... As you've gotten older, that thing maybe uh, is more difficult for you, or <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. That ain't how I meant it. That ain't Go how I meant ahead. It. No, I'm going to let you, you in. You are more accident prone because of it. Um, you are, you know, maybe um, in search of something less hard on the body. Uh, or maybe, you know what? You just discover something new and that thing starts to fade out and as something new fades in. Now, we're gonna give Chance as an example. My <laughs> loving husband, who's very fit, I may add. Mm, mm, I, I felt how you did a little flex right there. <laughs> Do it again. Mm. Uh -oh. <clears throat> um, he used to play basketball about four, five days a week. Love it. Uh, maybe I think in the last, about two years ago, a little bit before, maybe three years ago, he would start coming home with right many injuries. And I realized after seeing on Instagram, he was not the only one. <clears throat> Men be getting hurt at the gym and trying to come home and get themselves together to walk normal, although they in pain. I will not confirm or deny. <clears throat> Anywho, I used to find scratches on you. Babe, oh, okay. You're getting off. Swole up <clears throat> ankles. Babe, babe, you're getting a little off. What Anywho, we talking about? What so we about two about? years ago, how did you even discover? Let, let, two years ago, Chance decided that he was going to start playing golf, and it became his thing. Notice he got his golf invitational in NAACP. He competed in the uh, um did my thing too, in if the, I must say in so. In the golf tournament, he did very good. Mm -hmm. Mostly because I was cheering and praying for you um, when you did them good shots. I feel like you got to give me a little bit. No, I ain't giving you none. I no. put that work in. You did. Yeah, you I did. did that. You've been practicing a lot for the last two years. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about it, babe. When did you know 
Basketball, which you, I know we are a basketball family. We love the game, still love the game. He still coaches, you still coach. But when did you know, I think I might be done playing basketball and I'm gonna go try this golf thing? When did I know? Mm-hmm. Last year on, it was actually Valentine's, I wanna say it was Valentine's Day. I remember. Really? Yeah. We had plans in the afternoon. He mm-hmm. was doing something in the early part of the day. Mm-hmm. And I went to the gym. Um, that was the last time that I played. But working up to that, I had found in golf. Um, well, let me just go back. Yeah. I started, I started, I took lessons. And we coming up on, it was actually May of 2020. Two. Two? Mm-hmm. In uh, around this time, like in March, I went out with a couple of friends. We had went out during COVID <clears throat> and hit some balls a couple of times. And then when the gyms and stuff opened back up, I went back to playing. <clears throat> I went back to playing. Basketball. Yeah. Oh, okay. And it was fun because we were coming out of we were coming mm-hmm. out of COVID and mm-hmm. uh and it was a, it was fun and it was still you know fulfilling for me but what i recognized in coming out of covid and everything is that people were coming out of covid um with a different kind of men- mentality some with an appreciation for life some with a uh still with some bent up issues uh some issues from you know being kind of stuck in one spot for two years um and it was creating a different kind of environment in the gym, you know, and that, that, that comes with the territory of basketball. Um, and most days I enjoyed it, but a lot of times, you know, I was coming home frustrated with just the, the, the level of competition and then in association with a couple of knick-knack injuries, it was, okay, I, I, I'll explore this golf thing on invitation. I was just like everybody else, like, man, golf ain't for us. It ain't for, you know, when I say us, I'm talking about black people. Um, and I had this, I had the, the mindset that, yeah, this ain't, this, this is a game. This ain't a sport, right? This ain't no athleticism to be used in this. Um, and after going out, I found out otherwise. I was like, so somebody yeah. invited you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got invited by a few guys. One in particular who made it really enjoyable was my man, was Whip. Mm-hmm. Um, and I enjoyed uh, more so the experience than anything else. And on occasion, when you do well at it as a beginner, mm-hmm. it can become very, very uh, addictive. You want to hear that sound and all of that. But so this was March, <clears throat> you know, going out with them. Um, enjoying the experience, talking, walking, laughing at our mistakes, smoking some cigars, um, on occasion having a drink or two, um, having some real conversations out there, not really competing, but just enjoying the experience. Um, and it was, it was, it was fun. Um, but last year and after a league that I had played in, an adult league, um, Basketball or golf? Basketball, I'm sorry. Basketball, going and playing in a, in a league, one of the last leagues that I, well, it was the last league that I played in. Uh, what I realized is I heard myself doing a whole lot of coaching, doing a whole lot of talking, doing a whole lot of um, mm. uh, uh, refereeing, doing a whole lot of fathering uh doing a you know and it was it was an extreme amount which i don't i don't mind uh, but then i i kind of had to come to terms with this is not my environment anymore i'm in an environment where this is for young people who need to or for a group of individuals who uh, their lives are a little bit different from mine and they need this space to vent and i was looking for this space to be something a little bit different um and I, I remember the day I, 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 had a, I had a back and forth with a young man and I was like, afterwards, uh, I had an exchange of words with him, and, uh, which is normal in basketball, you know. Uh, the, the tension will build up, it's a sport, right? And we went back and forth. The, the things that he said to me and the things that I said to him 
uh, I remember leaving feeling like not, not at peace with it, right? And I kind of came to terms, I was like, I kind of laughed at myself like, he had, so he had apologized, right? He apologized for what he said to me. Um, and I kind of still felt like, deep down, like, I get why you're apologizing, but you, you shouldn't have to. This is where you come in here to do this. So I kind of felt like old school, right? Mm. We, we refer to that person as, as old school. Had nothing to do with, I always thought it would come in the format of you, me not being able to compete. And some people, that's what it takes. Some people are ready to go in there and do all of that, yeah. the back and forth and all of that. And I never thought that I would be the person that would lose interest uh, so suddenly, right? Mm -hmm. And it was really in that moment where I was like, man, I'm, I'm really going to explore this golf thing because um, it makes me deal with things and, and I don't have to deal with certain things and there's no blame, there's no team aspect. It's mm -hmm. more or less you. It's on you. Uh, when you make a mistake, it's on you. Um, you don't really need anybody else to show up. You can do it on your own. Um, there's no excuse for a bad swing. You are the excuse for the bad swing. So unlike basketball where somebody's being selfish or uh, and they don't pass the ball, right, you have an excuse. Or if, you, if somebody misses a shot and they're on your team, you have an excuse. With golf, it's an independent thing. You are on your own, um, which, I, which at this point in my life I like. Mm -hmm. right? I, I like that. I don't, I, you know. Um, and then with the other things, right, with the knick-knack injuries, and I'm not confirming or denying that tab when she's talking about all the men, y'all's husbands. I ain't breaking bro code, is what it is. Wait, you're not confirming like, or denying what? That, that, it, that they faking injuries, or they trying to hide injuries, or whatever it was that you said. Oh, okay. You know. You got a little something in your eye right here. Ow! Now that's faking the injury. See that? That's faking it in. Uh, uh -huh. But, uh, yeah, so over the last year, um, oh, let me say this, though. I also have the luxury of being able to train in basketball, um, and that's, a, that's fulfilling enough. I still love basketball as, my, you know, as far as it pertains to sports. My first love... Um, I got kids that I mentor and coach through basketball. So I have that on four or five days and that's fulfilling enough for me. I don't need to go out and compete anymore. I don't have the, the urge or the desire like I did where I was literally playing ball four to five days a week and going to the gym and training like, a, like I'm in college, you know, for basketball. Um, and looking back at it in hindsight, you know what I mean? I was blessed. I never really had any real major injuries and um, outside of a sprained ankle and a couple of knick-knack injuries, some scratches and stuff. We call those battle scars a tab get bent out of shape on. Oh, I don't get bent out of shape. You, oh, yeah, you, you limp in out of shape. No, I wasn't limping. No, but you, you, you come in. That's called a basketball like, walk. No, you come in look like you are bent no. out of shape. No, I come in like a warrior. Right? I come in. I'm a soldier when I'm on the court. I come in and I come in and I get back on my feet. Like, Which is why you haven't come in like that in the last two years. Yeah, because now, yeah, now I'm a different kind of warrior. Okay. So I let's bring that sword. I got a sword now. I'm out well, there you've been and I'm had like, a sword. Don't. See how you do? We're having a real conversation. I'm out here trying to help these men and these women understand this transition. No, I was just saying. And you, 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 you. You said you swing. You, now you swing a sword, but you like you were saying it like it's new. What was you getting ready to ask? What I was gonna say was, when did you know, or when did you fall in love with golf? Because you are in love with it. It's like a new. When level. um. Um, I, it's really, it's hard to say exactly when, but I can tell you what it is. When you know you truly, so I play basketball, football, soccer, baseball. Um, I've even put on some boxing gloves. 
and I've been <clears throat> no cap Great good. At all of them. Great, yeah, at yeah. all of them. Did I say track? Track too, yeah. Track. I ran track in high school with some Air Force Ones and ran a 10-7 in the 100 mm -hmm. in Air Force Ones, right? That's not me bragging. That's like you, you, you go back to Moorhead and talk to somebody who say, they will tell you that's the truth. I was just naturally good at it. So those things came easy. Golf, I sucked. And because I didn't have anybody to blame, it wasn't an issue of I couldn't afford to have the gear. It wasn't an issue of I needed somebody. I just was intrigued by it. Mm -hmm. um, and it's peaceful, right? There's an experience on that golf course where it's like you just, you got to just, you got to just, you, you're having a conversation with yourself where I'm like, oh, okay. I know if I get to do it twice, if I get to do this again, I would have hit that better, right? Mm -hmm. But you don't get that opportunity. So now it, at, at, you, you start to think about your outside life like, this is why I am the way that I am mm -hmm. in my life. That is appealing to me. Um, and then when you work on something and you are literally at scratch, like in my life, I, have, I don't think that I could honestly say that about basketball. I could always run, jump, you know, I could, I was stronger, taller. It, it almost like taller. it came natural yeah, to Yeah, that's yep. not scratch to me, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. I'm, but when I'm going with golf and I'm starting from scratch, mm -hmm. like I felt like I'm like, the, my, my strength, my... It's new muscles it's, too. Yeah, this is mm -hmm. all about discipline mm -hmm. and how to strategize and not lose sight Um or focus on anybody else. In all the other sports, I can look at somebody else and be like, okay, now I can do this to beat that person. So this, this is one, what made you fall in love with yeah, it? That's what that was so intriguing about it. And mm -hmm. then over time, um, over time, I, I realized that I was doing it. Didn't matter what, like it, it, nothing was getting in the way. So I think my love for it just kind of, you know, came as a result of I don't know. You know what yeah. I mean? It's just, it's, I can honestly say it's something I love to do. I really yeah. love to do it, and I'll do I it in any condition. Too. Yeah. Yeah. And when it yeah. started raining, he'd be looking out the door like, sad. Yeah. Him and Blackie had the same look in their eye. <laughs> Blackie's he crying, well, and he's looking out there like, they ain't going to be able to go outside yeah. and use the bathroom. He looking like, man, I ain't going to be able to go outside and play golf. Yeah. But I actually love that you you fallen in love with it. Yeah. It's yeah. so, but I, but, for the people who play ball or got their other thing too though, where, where I feel like with me, I love golf, <clears throat> but I love training, right? So mm -hmm. it's not like I'm just done with basketball. I don't think that I could ever just be like, hey, I'm done with right. basketball. Maybe after the kids that have been with me since they were literally babies, you know, graduate out of the program and move on, because uh, I've thought about that. Um, but because I have that as kind of like a, uh, what's the word? Like a, it's, it's, the, it's my other thing. So I'm, I'm going in, I go in the morning and I'll go golf mm -hmm. and literally be on my legs for four hours, right? I'll come home, I'll eat, and then I'll go be with my kids mm -hmm. for another four hours. Um, and I love it, right? Yeah. I, love, I don't like to miss <clears throat> any of my kids training with basketball. That is a passion of mine as well. So I think because of that, it was easy for me to be like, hey, I ain't got to go play. I'm mm -hmm. cool. I don't need to go play. I ain't got to go do all the back and forth. And I've done what I wanted to do and accomplished what I wanted to accomplish. And then the last thing, too, is what I realized through golf while on the course is why I was so, um, you know, failure, why I was so uh, focused on basketball. Mm -hmm. Um, in my adult life, you know, when you fail at something that you were so, you know, uh, focused on early, basketball from a failing standpoint, not making it into the collegiate level um, mm -hmm. and not making it into, you know, the pros, it was a thing that I was dealing with, with trying to <clears> prove <throat> to myself that I could really, that I could have really competed. Yeah. 
Um, and then once I got to the point where I felt like I really could have competed, I could have competed. I'm playing against these dudes that, you know, and they, and they looking forward to seeing me. And I'm whooping on them. Let's get that straight. <laughs> I mean, I'm putting that foot to, I mean, I'm, I'm putting, I'm, yeah, I'm giving yeah. it to them. So um, I was kind of holding on to that, mm. you know what I mean? Because of that, like, hey, I need that. But then when I <clears throat> was introduced to something else that didn't come so easy and I got it from scratch, it was easy for me to just be like, okay, I'm cool. Yeah. But. Well, let's, let's, let's talk <clears throat> about last year you got invited to the NAACP uh -huh. Celebrity Golf Tournament. It was your first time. And how did you do last year? So, I did awful. <laughs> <laughs> last year, I, was, I had just picked up the clubs and they invited me, right? Mm -hmm. And I left out of there feeling like, I'm a competitor, right? So, hey, look, don't get it twisted when I say you can do golf by yourself that I ain't, I'm done with competing. I don't like to lose at nothing. Nothing. <laughs> I, like, I, if we're going to lace them up, we're going to lace them up and I'm going to go. I'm going to compete. So when we went, we was playing, it's, you know, at the, at the tournament it is <clears throat> celebrities and, you know, when, I, when they said I was invited, I was a little uh, intimidated because I didn't want to slow anybody up yeah. and I didn't want to lose. When I got out, so I went and they was like, no, nah, it's fun and, you know, it's friendly. But then when we got there, you see some of these guys, they really compete and you have a lot of fun as well. Mm -hmm. um, and we had a team and... Uh, you play team golf, which makes it, you know, a little easier where you're not, you know, you're not, it's not all the stress is not on you. Um, and I stunk it up. I was the worst one on the team and I ain't like that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think you were the one. No, nah, I remember. You remember you the were. two, uh, we had the two old ladies. Yeah, we had the two they little ladies. They was good. Them two little they, ladies they was, was holding us good. down. Yeah. And then we had, uh, what's his name? Mike. Mike, yeah. We had Mike from, uh, uh, was he on Fox Sports? Yeah, one of the he's Fox Sports, uh -huh. and then we had the guy who owns his own course in Florida. Oh yeah, yeah, and yeah. And then we had um, you. It was five of y'all. Yep, and then me. Yeah. And I stunk it up. I was like, so hey. so everybody contributed in some form or fashion. Yeah, and I ain't had but you, it. but y'all didn't come in last place. Yeah, but I almost <laughs> had us there. <laughs> I almost had us there. Yeah, I almost had us there, but. Yeah, so this year it was like, I, hey, so, I focused the whole year. I was like, hey, I'm not going to be the worst player on this and team. And you, literally, I yeah. feel like you practiced all year. I sure did. And when you played uh, yesterday, I was very impressed. Me too. And I don't even really know the game. I'm still kind of learning. It's still, you know, I don't be out there and stuff. But to see, I, it was a clear difference from last year to this year. And mm -hmm. even your confidence was like way different. And it was just, it was exciting to, to witness and watch you in the element. Also, you was kind of like, you were the one uh, leading the team. Yeah, I kind of felt like that. I wouldn't go say that, but I Oh, you were. Like, you know, I felt like say, I was the man. Honey, you, you, know was, I mean? you was leading the team. Yeah. They but, was, without you, it would have been, you know, it could have been a little different. Well, we had, we had two other players that were pretty good. Yeah. Um, then we had a guy that reminded me of myself for last year. Mm -hmm. Right. And I, I just, I, and I told him yesterday, I was like, man, listen, hey, I'm going to tell you what nobody told me last year. And I just kind of gave him some insight on it. But I like that. That's yes. the thing I fall in love with. Right. It gave me something to focus on. I liked that I, that I was trash last year. Yeah. And I just told myself, <clears throat> uh, I have the opportunity and I've been blessed to where I can focus on something and not have to, um, you know, put anything before it. I got time in my schedule, I can do it. So I committed to it, yeah. which is appealing to me. It's like, mm -hmm. all right, this, okay, I can go, I can go focus on this. And I did set the NAACP tournament as a goal. I was like, all right, yeah. you would have thought that was my PGA tour. I was like, it yeah, was. I'm, about to, okay. I'm about to go out here and compete. Yeah. But, uh, we still came up short, but next year. <laughs> you gonna do it again. I'm coming after, hey listen, gonna do I'm it coming. Again. I'm yes. coming after their heads, that's right. I love it. Um, you, you know, I know when we uh, said we was gonna have this, this conversation and this topic, and you was like, babe, you gonna, you gonna have some stuff you gonna talk about too, right? Mm -hmm. You know? But what I thought was important, as it's been like 25 minutes, right? Was just to let you explain your 
old love and new love for something, right? Because I think it's important uh, in couples to give your partner an opportunity to, uh, to grow out loud, mm -hmm. to share. Because let me tell you what, Chance will start talking about golf. I don't know what he's talking about, but I just be listening. He be like, hey, babe, so today, let me tell you what happened. Hey, it'll be about 10, 15 minutes. He don't, and Chance ain't a big talker like that. But recently, he be talking this golf, and I be trying to engage like I know what, I'm, what, what he's talking about. I don't know, but I act like, I be like, oh, for real, babe? What? That's all they need sometimes. That's all we need sometimes. Let them have their moment, because you see how much joy and happiness it has given him. Like when he on the course yesterday, yeah. I was just like, he looks so happy. And sometimes that's what will help heal some parts in the relationship uh, when people are doing their own self work, right? Because yesterday he also made, you made a uh, comment about like golf is almost like your therapy, right? Because you can kind of work. Yeah, it's therapeutic. Mm -hmm. You can kind of work out some stuff out there, uh, whatever you might be dealing with in here. And I saw a couple of them men, the way they hit that ball, Oh, honey, they was taking somebody's head off, okay? <laughs> Baby, they was working uh, through some things, okay? We, we, but, it, 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 I, I gotta, I gotta say this. Uh-huh. I think it's more of that than it is anything else. Mm. Just for me and the, I've played with strangers. I've met more people in this year than I think I have met in my lifetime. Yeah. And what we all have in common is, we love the sport, but we love the sport for the therapeutic value, mm -hmm. the experience. Yeah, everybody's out there. You got, you know, you got the pros, and people look at those people like Tiger Woods and all those people, right? But those people are very—that's uh, a small number mm -hmm. of talent, right, in the golf world. There's a lot of people like me, a lot of people like me who are just wanting to get find a space where they can relate, they can talk business. Um, you know, you always hear about business deals being done on a golf course. That's an understatement. Mm -hmm. Like, I have met all kind of people out there. You know, I don't really talk to strangers like that. Right, which is I another really thing don't. that has brought you out of a shell yeah, with I, meeting people. Yeah, it yeah. has. Yeah. And when you get out there and you hear or you see somebody, um, what, what, what you might look at as being a bad game, a bad day, mm -hmm. but they are smiling from ear to ear, and you can relate to it without saying a word. Mm -hmm. He just needed to get out of the house, get him some, get him some sun on his face, yeah. walk. You see a person who looks like, right, they can't walk or it's hurting them to walk, right? But they chose to walk mm -hmm. when there's a cart and they look happy. Yeah. You start to be like, why is this dude walking when and then you have a conversation with him, and it's like, man, one time in my life, I didn't think I was going to ever walk again. I'm going to walk as much. Oh, I got it. Yes. Or, or I have been given uh, a time limit to where how long I might be here. So I'm going to walk mm -hmm. as much as I can. You have a different appreciation for it, right? And it ain't about the game. It ain't about hitting a ball left or hitting a ball right. We all want to hit them straight, right? Mm -hmm. But then you have a different kind of understanding and different kind of grace for that person. And you have a different kind of appreciation for things. And... And sometimes it's, it's, it's a short conversation. Sometimes it's a long one. All 18 where you just relating to a human being that you never thought you would encounter. Mm. Right. So that 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 right there is priceless where a person that might go sit on the couch and pay hundreds of dollars to talk to somebody. Um, you just met a complete stranger who, you know, right. Mm -hmm. Some of us, somebody told me on the course, he was like, I'd rather come out here and meet a stranger. He, he apologized for sharing too much. And, uh, and I did think he was sharing too much. I did. I did. I was like, man, this dude is sharing a lot. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you, I want everybody to think about this. He said, um, how did he put it? He said, I, he said, man, I apologize if I shared too much today. And I thought to myself, I was like, boy, you told, you told some personal stuff out here. Boy, I don't even know you. Mm -hmm. But then he said, the thing about that, though, is I'm probably never going to see you again. And I ain't got to worry about you judging me. I'd rather have you be an ear for me, a cool guy, and I can help you so you can avoid what I have been through and what I've shared with you than for me to go pay somebody hundreds of dollars 
right, and sit on the couch, and I'm wondering if they're judging me because I got to see them for a year, see them for. And I, and I, I get that. Like, mm-hmm. I got it. I was like, he's like, I don't know, that might not make sense. And, but to me, it made complete sense. Mm-hmm. I just wanted to get it out. Yeah. I found out that you were relatable. I, you, me and you have a few things in common. And I told him, I said, no, I get it. So, you know, we joked about it, and I told him, yeah, you did share a little bit. <laughs> but you know what I mean? So yeah. there is a therapeutic value um, in the experience of golf. And, and I think that kind of goes back to what we were saying in, in from the beginning. Uh, sometimes we got to know when to let one season go and enter into the next season because uh, we may need something in that next season that the old season couldn't provide, right? And, and that's what you said. Mm-hmm. You know, basketball was starting to lead to frustration for you. Yeah, because it's continuous relationships too. Right. And yeah. then now you're entering into a, you know, or you're in a season now where you found something that helps you relieve frustration or work out stuff or whatever the case may be. But I think, you know, I've, I've talked to, uh, you know, Many, many different women, men, you know, being on the road, different things. But even my aunt and my uncle, who is a big golfer. Uh, and I do know that over the years, uh, encountering different people, sometimes there's a, a moment of jealousy when your partner finds something that they love and enjoy and they like to go do it a lot. And you're like, well, we're we going to do something, right? Like, you ain't thinking about me type of thing. I will encourage... A, make sure that the, the reason that you're so focused on how much they're going, make sure it's not because you don't have anything that you're doing for you, right? Because a lot of times when you ain't got nothing going on, every single thing they do is like a dagger to you. It's because you, you, you only focus on them instead of focusing on you. That's first. Now, if you are doing your own thing and you got something that occupies your time and your free time and you have a, a extracurricular activity as we call them and your partner has something that they're doing and it still feels like oh wait a minute this is too much be vocal about it because I've done that but you yeah. I'm like hey babe now I know you love this golf <laughs> you ain't took me on no kind of day day <laughs> yeah well, on my little days all right we used to be like hey let's go to a movie during the daytime or let's go eat lunch you thinking about golf time, do you, I need a little time. And there's a way to do that without being nasty about it. Because as you have just explained, it's something that is so enjoyable that you can get caught up in, in that, right? Oh yeah, you, lose, you, you forget about all your responsibilities. And you sometimes, you lose track of time. Mm-hmm. You lose track of, like, we was out there yesterday, they, they was on that course for like six hours, five, six hours. It was a, yeah. It's a long game, right? Yeah, but that's not normal though. It's not normal, but during the day, some days you be going three or four hours. Uh, yeah, it's, now four hours is normal. You, right, which is still a long yeah, time. Yeah, that's a long time. But when I say you lose track of time, that's in a day. And then if you do it every day or three or four times a, day, a week, you lose track of like, oh, dang, I've spent more time doing this when I had some little extra time to maybe do something with my partner, right? Yeah. So just be mindful of all of that. But also, if you're the partner that's feeling a certain type of way, Make sure you say it gently, right? Make sure you are able to communicate that so that nobody feels offended because what you don't want to do is make somebody feel like you're attacking something that they have just found out that they loved or that helps them, that they enjoy. We got to have a way that we talk to each other. That's kind of what I'm trying to say. But um, again, I, I wanted to make sure you just had this moment to share, share, share. And I just wanted to be an example for anybody who needs to know what it looks like, to just let them live for a little bit in that new space of happiness. Let them share, even if you don't even know what they're talking about, right? But I knew everything that he was talking about in this moment because it was about how you feel. Yeah. So that's, that's really it. But I'm glad that you like it. Now, there is a couple things, and we ain't going to have to get into it, but when I go, I don't like that I have to be quiet. I really want to do the cheering. Like, I want to motivate and celebrate you? You want to do what you did in the basketball world. You want to do what you did in the football world. You want to do, so see how I brought that back? Dang, I got to go into a different season of how I support. So you cheer, you cheer differently. 
right? The same that the track with Leah and and Choice and Quest and uh -huh. basketball and it ain't with me and you on the sideline. This is it's a different thing. Now you get to still do that because you got a son. Right? Yeah, I be cheering at the basketball game. Yeah, you be coaching too. But we're going to stay on top of it. No, we're going to stay on top of it. No, no. I don't just, do that. Just, don't do that. But we're going to. Now that you said that, I'm going to start doing it just to prove you right. So you don't be saying put your son in the game? I be telling you that. That ain't coaching. That's a GM. I'm the GM. <laughs> so I'm telling you, hey, put my put, son put in the game. Put my son in the game? Yeah, that ain't coaching. You coaching. <laughs> I'm above you. I'm the GM. I own the team. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the I'm in the box calling hey put my son in the game that's it but most time I don't even do that I tell you in the car before we get there like listen my son better play today <laughs> so you worse than the rest of my parents you worse than hey, okay. trying to tell me I'm just saying because some days that you don't be letting them play he ain't supposed to hey, is stay we, on top, what, we stay on top. what we focus on your son ain't supposed to play all the time he ain't supposed to play all the time but he do need his playing time <sighs> Okay. I'm, that ain't me coaching, though. See, see how you said listen But I do like... Partner. Listen to your partner and... Yeah, you but now you're talking yeah. about parenting. This ain't partnering. It's parenting. <laughs> yeah, you ain't going to... You're not, you're not yeah. going to attack my parenthood <laughs> and my mothering. Mm. I'm just trying to be a supportive wife and mother. Because if you listen to me as the GM, you shine as a father. Okay, you want to close out the show. Anywho, you made me forget what I was saying. <laughs> oh, but, but to your point, I like that you said you brought it back. You can't cheer the same way you did in that season. Mm -hmm. The cheering also has to change. So I get it. Yeah. Will you take me out and teach me how to play golf? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Because I'm good at top golf. <clears throat> hey, remember we went the one time, and once I figured out what I was supposed to be doing, I started killing it. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'll take me. you out though, baby. Oh, you want me to play bottom golf? I see what you. <laughs> I see what you doing. Tell you that nasty. I, I see you're what you nasty. doing. Nasty. I see you trying. You're to nasty. Keep, man. You trying to keep me down there? Yeah. Okay. I'll take you out. Okay. I'll take you out. All right. And let you hit some balls. Today's episode has been sponsored <laughs> by Donna's <laughs> Recipe. Uh, <laughs> Available at Target. Select stores and all Ulta Beauty stores. And on our website at Donna'sRecipe.com. Hey, did you, uh, oh, never mind. I was going to say about the, uh, what's the stuff I be using? The Donna's Recipe? The strength no, the, oil? The, the stuff, the gross stuff. The strength oil. Oh, yeah. But we're not, we stay focused. Oh, I was trying to help you out. Oh, what, what I was good you know, so they could see how it works. Well, they know that you've you know? been stealing the products. Y'all see how I, much it ain't stealing. You my wife. It's in my cabinets. So you can just, because I'm your wife. Yes. And it's on my side. Your lotion, your oil. You can just take it. And yeah. I'm supposed to be cool with it. Absolutely. Okay. So when I tell you to put my son in the game, you should just take it <laughs> and be cool <laughs> with it. <laughs> uh. All right, y'all. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Mm. Uh, make sure you be kind you to your partners. Love them, listen to them, and support them. Bring the all right, in. in all the seasons. I know it can be a little tough sometimes, but we believe in you. Friday. And we're all worthy of the season Friday. we're in. Okay? Very good. Anything else, babe? No, that's it. All right. Well, honey, until the next time, baby, y'all go about y'all business. Friday. Have the most amazing day. But even Friday. if you can't have a good one, don't you? They'll go messing up nobody else's here. Very good. Love y'all. Bye. Did I say that this week's episode was sponsored by Donna's Recipe already? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because she all, I mean, she's still a little wet, but mm. she, she's shrinking up too. Mm. Stay focused. Mm. Bye, y'all. Uh, thank you for watching this episode, honey. And if you liked it, go ahead and click right here for more of those episodes. And if you haven't already subscribed, please remember to do so. Very good.